being accustomed to fulfilling your desires or your whims or your passions or ulfat shahawat so if if you are so addicted to consumption you are accustomed to fulfilling whatever you desire and the quran comes and stands between you and what you have trained yourself to enjoy and you know that the quran makes the relationship to your addiction uncomfortable that's qurh that's qurh ma anzal allah that you will in turn find yourself uncomfortable with revelation so i this was um sheikh haid allah yarhamu wa ihsan li they just stayed with me what there was a guy who um was still in sheikh haid When I read the Quran it makes me very uncomfortable. Why does it make you very uncomfortable? And he said because it's constantly talking about hellfire and punishment. And at the time it, you know I didn't fully understand what Sheikh Haid meant by it, but it stayed with me and I think now it's sort of uh, and the uh, Sheikh Haid said what you're uncomfortable with it told this guy what look or scrutinize or reflect upon what things you are accustomed to that make the mention of hellfire so uncomfortable to you in other words yes the mention of hellfire is bothering you but it's bothering you because of who you are not because of what the quran is because the quran every time allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never mentions hellfire without mentioning the opposite of hellfire jannah as many times as allah mentions hellfire are mentions the jannah you can the mention of jannah can comfort you and the mention of hellfire can bother you but it depends on who you are you could be comforted or you could be alarmed and that's who you are carry who ma anzal allah you see it's such a small expression 